What's up guys, Sinistalker here for a new video. It's like another food review video, which I didn't really plan on doing, so it's like random right now. I did the donut one, Randy's Donuts. It's a food review kind of video. And this one right here, as you can see, you just saw a sneak peek of it in the title of this video. Long John Silver's right up here. Like, why the heck am I going to Long John Silver's? I don't know, it's the only one in San Diego. They're pretty much all gone. It's, it's almost like the company, remember the company, this Long John Silver's? I've never even been there before. I remember they were pretty big back in the 80s in 90s right maybe like late 70s too i've never been to one before and i figured i might as well go to this one since it's my only chance i've never been to one because i always thought it was kind of like weird because it's might be like just like frozen fish sticks and stuff like that i was like i don't want to go to a, a place and get like fish sticks you know fish sticks are kind of good but i'm like that's why i never been to a in long john silvers and this one right here is just great it's only one in san diego and it's also two star yelp review one too inside so pray for me because it is seafood and it's like two stars so it's like oh my goodness but yeah retro in a way, I think this used to be a standalone Long John Silver's. Now it's a KFC Long John Silver's. Have you guys been at Long John Silver's? Are you guys fans of Long John Silver's? I don't know. And there it is. And what's funny too, it's right next to other places, sort of retro. That is a Sizzler right there. You know, this good, the good old Sizzler that was really popping back in the 80s. Yeah, Long John Silver's, fresh catch of the day, right? So um, let's go in there and try it out, see how it is. It's, I said it's a two-star Yelp review, so I'm excited about that. And uh, see what these are. I think they got things called like hush puppies, which I've never really, I don't think I've ever had a hush puppy. What is that like? Is it this breaded deep fried stuff? And I think that I read it up too, it's only like about less than 600 of these around in the US as long as I'm, so it's kind of going under. We're back in the Haiti I read up on, there was over 1,500 restaurants. These used to be standalone ones. I remember seeing these throughout San Diego back in the day. Now it's the only one in this whole region besides for me, to Los Angeles this is the only one right here that's close by. And I was just driving by. I was like, you know what? Let's go get some Long John Silvers because it's weird and strange. It's the only one around. And let's see how it tastes and see if it tastes any good. I hope it tastes okay. You know, it's like fried fish, like fish stick kind of stuff. So it should be good. I'm not sure how the decor is like in there. From what I see so far, it looks like it's heavily KFC decor. But let's go try some Long John Silvers. See how it is. So I'll throw in a couple of ads right now, some retro commercials. New Southwest Fiesta fish, kicking with zesty spices, now just 59 cents. Try a giant shrimp combo for $4.49. It's our biggest news ever. Surf's up. Dive in at Long John Silver's. Oh yeah, I want those with some good memories, some throwbacks right there, some nostalgia Long John Silver's. But let's go in here. See, it's pretty much like, looks like it's KFC Tommy. Let's go, let's go check it out. You go inside, it's pretty much, it's like all KFC except for this. Like it's the only thing, it's like Long John Silver's is these uh, pictures right here is just the only thing that's like Long John Silvers and everything else is pretty much like KFC, so it's kind of funny. I'm gonna do some Long John Silvers. I've never been on Long John Silvers before, so I was like, I think it's the only one in San Diego, right? Yeah. Is this one. Okay, so I was like, do you have anything you recommend? Like a combo? I'm not sure. You know what? I'll do the uh, L8. It's just all fish, the right? Fish. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that one. And, and fries? Uh, uh, fries. It comes with hush puppies too? Yeah. Okay. Cool, I'll, I'll do that one. It's, like, it's all Pepsi since it's like KFC, so you get pretty much just Pepsi products. And even have some, some Sobe. You know what's Sobe? It's not Sobe, I don't even know that. Huh. So I get the food. I think I'm gonna eat by the car because the music's just kind of playing and it's like I wanna get copyright stuff, but I'll just kind of show you real quickly what I got. So in here you have like your tartar sauces. You get the malt vinegar and things like that up in there. And tartar sauce, I think it comes like in KFC bags. So it's kind of funny. I'm actually by the trunk right now because I was like, you know, what the heck? You get outside the car, I'm like crumbs everywhere. So it's funny they have like Long John Silver's like in KFC stuff. But they have the packets, which are pretty cool. It has Long John Silver's packets, like malt vinegar. I never even use this stuff. Like, I guess you put that with the fish, right? I don't know. And of course, you get some classic like tartar sauce, things like that. So I think it's like Long John Silver that I see. Here's the fish. Looks pretty good. The fish. So this is a two star rated place. So it's very, you know, deep fried, right? These are, these are hush puppies. These are kind of weird, very greasy. Now what's in this bag? Okay, we got the French fries going up. Let's try some of these fries real quick. Okay, not bad. Fries taste like fries, little, like a weird deep fry, but it's okay. Just try, um, let's try to these fishes out. These weird, these weird like fish. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's so greasy. I'm greasy. This thing is greasy as hell. Look at the grease. Look at my hands. Oh my god, I'm like covered in freaking grease, dude. Long John Silver's cringe. Just to try it out, just by, by itself. See how this is. Look at this. 
big piece of fish right here. Let's go, let's go. Can you break it apart real quick? Check out on the inside, right? It's like just so just greasy. The fish looks okay inside there. Like it looks, <laughs> it looks all right. Look at that. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty decent. Really bred it up like crazy. Look at that. Look at that bread in that thing. It's just greasy breadiness. Like, oh my God. So let's see how, let's see how this is by itself. My very first time having Long John Silvers with you guys. Let's try it out. Okay. It's kind of like, it's pretty good, but way, way too much breading on that thing. The breading in that thing, way too much breading. It's like a layer of breading on that thing. It's just, I, never, I never had so much breading on a fish before. Not even like the ones you buy at the store, like Groton's Fresh Catch of the Day. The, like the breading is, just, is just, the breading this thing is just heavily breaded. It's very salty, salty. My sodium levels will be going right through the roof right up here. Everything is deep fried. Not really healthy, this is at all, but uh, but it's okay. I'm gonna try with the malt vinegar now and a tartar sauce. Do you, I'm not sure, do you have it by itself? I'm gonna try with the malt vinegar by itself. I'm probably doing it wrong. I never use that stuff on fish. You know, I see that fish restaurants. I never use it, but I'll, 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 I'll try it out. So look at that. So much breading on there. And so I opened this up. This is like the hardest thing to open up because of the malt. Like it's so greasy, this thing. You kind of just pour that on there, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. If I'm doing it, doing that right or not, I don't know. It's probably not. But let me get it like that. The first time having some malt vinegar on my on my fish. I believe, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Also with Long John Silver's. A lot of first in this video. It's not bad. Kind of weird. No, yeah, this is so greasy. Wow. Yeah, the malt vinegar, not a huge fan of. Look at this, look at this. This is from like holding it, not even squeezing it. This thing is just covered in grease. Wow, this is insane. So much grease. <laughs> now let's try it with the, the, the tartar sauce. It looks kind of like splunk. There you go, look at that little, little splunky tartar sauce uh, for our health. And there we go. Take on some of that nice white tartar sauce, classic, right? And there we go. Let's just try it with that now. Guess, look, <laughs> I barely touch it. So look at the grease, dude. Let's so we can zoom in on that. Let's so we can zoom in on that. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look at that grease. You want that? <laughs> oh my God, looks horrible. Look at that, look at that grease, dude. I'm about, I'm about to eat that. I'm about to eat that, buddy. Some of that nice tartar sauce on there. Well, hopefully it is nice. Mm. Okay. Yeah. The tartar sauce helps. That's the best thing. It made, made it taste a lot better. But yeah. Man, so greasy, dude. So greasy, bro. Wow. But tartar sauce helped it out. Now, let's try a hush puppy, whatever the heck that is. So, right here, we get this hush puppy, which looks really weird looking. Look at this. <laughs> What is this? I'm like, look at my, my hands are like, I'm almost, I'm, my fingers are almost coming like pruned up from all the grease. Like, you know, if you, if you put your hands in water and it come like prunes. It's almost like that because I'm all the grease right here. Oh my God. It's like the greasiest thing I've ever had in my life, I think. This is more greasier than fair food. Wow. Okay, let's go try out a hush puppy. Do, you, do, do I see this by itself? I don't even know. Let's go see. I believe my first time having a hush puppy. I don't think I ever had these before. I heard of them, but I never had them. Let's try it out. Okay. Weird. Pretty good. This is pretty much like, like cornmeal, but really battered like crazy. Look at that, look at that, look at all this. Like, right, look at this, a lot, a lot of batter here. Tastes okay, kind of weird at first. I wasn't sure what it really was. I believe it's just like this cornmeal or batter, but it's been, they put a lot of this other batter on top of it. Very, very weird, but um, it's, it's all right, it's all right. I got three of these fishes. I don't know if I eat all of these, but another fish. Let's see this other one right here. You can see it's kind of like, see it's like sort of flimsy. See that's like, almost like rubbery kind of. See that's like real rubbery. The grease is crazy, look at this grease, look at this. 
Oh, God, look at that grease, bro. Oh my God, that, that is, that is insanely greasy. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> look at this, is, look at all that grease. It's pretty, look at this, dude, look at this. All I get is this much fish. This is all breaded. This is all bread right there. Wow. That's all bread. That's all the fish you get right there. It's just that. Let's go eat some uh, deep fried greasy bread. Wow. That hurts my heart. Wow, it's so salty. I think I knocked, I think I knocked a week off my life right there. Wow, it's sweat and grease, it's, uh, it's gross. Oh my God, man. Like it tastes okay with the tartar sauce, but man, it's just so greasy, I can't get by it. Let's put the malt vinegar and the tartar sauce on there just to try it out at least once but by, by itself. Oh my God, it smells like malt vinegar. The Long John Silver Pop Shot, right there. Wow. That was weird. Yeah, I think I think I'm I think I'm I think I'm done. My fingers are just covered in grease. Look at this. Absolutely greasiest I think I've ever had in my life is Long John Silver's. Oh my god, man, it's crazy greasy. I'm in the bathroom. I had to wash my hands. The grease off the hands. It was just layers of grease. It was like it was insane. Kind of a messy bathroom. I think this used to be the urinal right here. It's somehow gone. I don't know what it's. I don't, I don't know. Mirror, of course. These, these are usually gone at like restaurants now. I know there's mirrors. And here's the toilet over here. So you just go do all your business in here. It's like kind of big. It's like a big room. Like it's almost like, almost like a saw room with this like saw so like it chained up there. Look at all that, look at all that mildew right there. Look at that mildew, it's like green. What the hell? It's okay, let's go, let's go. That pretty much does it for this video. My final thoughts of me trying out Long John Silver's, well that's KFC, but you know, it's, it's two in one right there. Long John Silver's the very first and probably last time. It was, it was not that great. I'm sorry, I was, not, I was hoping to be a little bit better, but it really was not that great. Um, it had like a, like a weird, it was very greasy. Um, the fish was okay by itself. The fish by itself was pretty good. It tastes like fish, a little tartar sauce on it. The tartar sauce did help out with the breading, but there's just too much grease and my stomach feels like odd now with all that grease and stuff. It just, was it always heavily greased up, Long John Silver's? There's just maybe this only location now, or maybe that's why they're going out of business because it's just heavily greased up. Food, and it's just like man, it's heavy. It's like oh my god! Like I said, it's, more, it's to me, it's like I never had more greasy food in my life. Not even like fair food is this greasy. You've you seen it? I was on my fingers. Just like it's, my fingers are turning like prunes because there's so much grease <laughs> touching it. I wasn't even touching it that long. I just was kind of just like my fingers were just kind of sort of touching it. It was it was nuts. But uh, yeah, interesting stuff right there. It is it is two stars. I, I can tell with the bathroom and everything like that it is a, a two star kind of place. It's Long John Silver's, <laughs> and uh, yeah, first time having it. It said last time. Let me know down below if you guys like Long John Silver's. What do you think about Long John Silver's? Or how it's like now compared to back when? Because I never, I never had a back when. I've never seen the commercials and stuff like that back in like the 90s. And I think mostly the 90s I remember seeing Long John Silver's commercials. Those ones I showed. I remember seeing those back when. I think up to the early 2000s. And not that I've seen none of them anymore. I thought they're all gone. And, but no, there's still, it's like one left. And they're, 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 they're around here and there. I think mostly it's like a back east thing, maybe down south. Not really much here in the West Coast or SoCal area. I think it's only this one. I think one in LA, I think that's it through Southern California. But anyway, this is what it is. It's not that great. Long John Silver's. Uh, only, only bet, and the hot puppies were very odd. They're very, they're, the taste of the flavor was pretty good, but they're just really bready, very bready food, very breaded and, and just heavily uh, oiled up food was uh, Long John Silver's. Man, Long John Silver's uh, secret sauce I had, and it was uh, still tasted in my mouth right there with the, the grease right there. But anyway, maybe it's just this location. I don't know. But let me know what you think about Long John Silver's and what you thought about this video. If you guys like me to do more other food review videos and things like that, let me know down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. If you want to make sure to subscribe. Hit me up on TikTok, Instagram, and check out my eBay page and all that goodness right there. I'll catch you guys later next one. I'll see you then. And no, no, I'm not just becoming a food channel. This is only a couple videos food related in a row. Just have, happen to be like that. So I'll, I still do my randomness and things like that too. Oh, it just happened to be like this. I was like, you know what? I gotta check out Long John Silver. I was driving around, but think about it for a while. It's like, I saw here, it's an opportunity. 
and you can take an opportunity and strike while iron's hot, even though sometimes it doesn't come out how you want it. Like here, it was not that great, but uh, it's okay like that, it's okay. I eat a salad and feel a lot better about myself from eating all that heavy, greasy, breaded up fish. Yes, I'll catch you later then, I should be okay, hopefully, and I'll see you then.